Do you ever actually stop clapping until the last time you ever clap? It's just longer. Wait. <laughs> it's just longer between claps. Hey, it feel right. Don't it? Hey, yo, welcome back to the Freddy Show, the number two podcast in the world. This is Cakes. My name is Nick. Are you ready, Freddy? We got an intro. <laughs> we got an intro. <laughs> I'm excited we finally have an hey, intro. Hey, this is episode 62. 62? 62. How many is that? 62. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, we get did do it. Hey. Can you get right into it? I want to talk about something. Hit me, dude. Uh, <clears throat> you sure you wanted to talk about you something? You can go. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> but when you, no, you're up, dude. No, when you ask, Swing and a miss. When you ask somebody name. What? When you ask somebody their name. Yeah. You're just really asking what sound you should make that they'll respond to. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, bro? Like, think about it. Think about saying a name in a different language, like Chinese or something. Like Jeff? Yeah, think about it not as a language and just, you're just making a, Jeff! Jeff! <laughs> Jeff! It's just a sound. And you just respond to it. Bro, did you know whales are the loudest mammal? They're louder than a plane taking off. They're loud? They're no, they're like, not, no, bro. They're, they're underwater. They're louder than a plane. If you stand next to a, a whale while they... Whoa. It's louder than a jet taking off. I right don't next believe to that for a second. It's a fact. It's two hundred and thirty decibels. You, would you get this? It's two hundred and thirty decibels compared to one hundred and eighty decibels. No, bro. I made up it's the numbers. Underwater. I made up the numbers, but yeah, that sounds me. super made up. Fact check me. That sounds super made up. He's about bro, the fact. Jared's about the. When fact you check try to, have you ever tried to scream underwater? That's not the point. No, have you? Of course I have. Yeah, and do, is it loud? No, it's not loud. It's the same amount of decibels. Are you serious so saying a whale is so loud that if we took it out of the water, it would be the loudest thing in the universe? No, the loudest mammal. No, it'd be the loudest thing because anything not... underwater is less loud. Whales, oh, whales yeah. moo at 238 decibels. And what's a yeah. jet? 150. Bow! What's a what? What's one? What's one fifty? A, a jet, jet is one fifty, and a whale is one hundred eighty. Okay, that's a jet. Look up a seven forty seven Boeing. It's obviously not loud as a as an explosion. Speaking of explosions, one hundred and sixty five decibels. It's still louder. Speaking of an explosion, bro, Jared, popcorn is just explosions frozen in time. <laughs> They're, they're edible explosions, bro. <laughs> if I ever opened a popcorn company... What? If I ever opened a popcorn company, bro... If I ever opened a popcorn company, it's called edible explosions. <laughs> bro, that's Your crazy. mic's not working. How come they... Your mic's not working. At all? Now it is. How come it doesn't... How come they don't just... That's quite the what? But, like, they that got edible wild. arrangements where you make you make flowers out of... Yeah. Out of fruit? Yeah. I got edible explosions. That's such a business plan, dog. I really think I should now. Now that I, I really think I should. Because who's up. your who's your competition? Orville Redenbacher and and what's the other one? Smart Pop movie theater. The, the just the movie I, I don't know. I, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I feel like it's a, it's a oh, wide edible open market. explosions, bro. The marketing. Can we can we start a popcorn company? That yeah. Are we doing kettle corn? Or what are we doing? And uh, do the whole thing, dude. Do cut, everything. cut this part out. That episode. Sounds, I don't, I don't want to buy steal our business. That could sound extra like edible, edible ex explosions. Yeah, bro. that can be a little. No, it's not sexual. What are you talking about? Edible explosion. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> not not your mom's popcorn. <laughs> All right, let me uh, let me let me blow your uh, mind, dude. Uh, Think about this, dude. What is it? You know, you know Mickey Mouse. Heard him. You know, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, he's got a, a a pet. He's got a pet dog, Pluto. That's his pet, bro. I thought they were just okay, friends. That's not even. That's not even like the point of. I my... thought they were just friends. <laughs> no, bro. That's, his, that's pet. his pet. That's his dog, bro. So what about Goofy? They're friends. They're friends. Okay. <laughs> okay. Think about. It. He's got a. <laughs> How does Goofy feel about that? <laughs> You gotta be, bro. He's like, well, no. I think his dog is the one shook about it. He's like, bro, you, you can be friends with dogs, but you gonna you gonna own me? That's what I mean. Like, well, as Goofy the, can speak English. Well, as the dog community, it should be in an uproar. 
Okay. Oh, that's a lion. Yeah. <laughs> it I should be in an up bark. <laughs> up bark. No, but bro, listen. He's got his his pet. Mickey Mouse's pet is a dog to scare away cats from the mice. Yeah. Oh. Fact. Yeah, but it's less interesting than the than the goofy Pluto debate. Let's go back to that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, more, I'm more intrigued about that, <laughs> bro. Imagine like. You as Goofy, you see one of your like your relatives' dog just like owned by a mouse. And you're friends with that mouse. That's what I mean. Yeah, and that's your boy. That's what I was talking about the dog community. Do you think like he holds that against him? Like you think like I don't deep think down ever, Goofy's I, like I don't think he ever pieces it together. But when he does, I don't think they're gonna be friends. Is Goofy anymore. a dog? Whole time, yeah. He's a dog. That's about how far I know. I just feel like the the his mouth is just not. It's a little goofy. Bro, you're you're younger right now than you are right now. Stop, don't do that. <laughs> don't want to do that. You are younger right now than you stop, are right now. Stop it, bro. You're younger now than you are now. Stop it, bro. <laughs> stop it, bro. You're younger right now than you are right now. Stop it, bro. <laughs> I don't like that. How crazy is that? You know, I saw this somewhere else, but is I saw someone say that, you know that every picture of you, and someone's like, here's a picture of me when I was younger. Yeah, I would hope so. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got a picture of you and you was older. Hey, hey, check this out. That's a picture of me when I was younger. <laughs> <laughs> I sure hope check, so, checks bro. Checks out, dude. Adds up. <laughs> Adds up. Can you imagine, bro? Here's a picture of me when I'm older. <laughs> can't think about no, it. I can't think about it. I can't, can't take pictures in the future, dude. What is this? Did you know birthday sex is really just celebrating your parents having sex? <laughs> Stop, all right. <laughs> that's all we got time for today. I'm just, <laughs> well, that's I'm just saying. Don't do that. You're making it weird. You're making it weird, bro. I've never thought about that, but now every time that I'll do it, I'm going to think about oh, that. Well, that's because that's what you're celebrating. <sighs> bro, maybe. Can you imagine? Have you ever what? thought about it? I just did. Your parents doing it? Doing the. <laughs> yeah. Doing the parking ride? You've thought about it? <laughs> hey, wait, have you seen it? <laughs> Just made that up. Doing the parking ride? That's amazing. Like when you commuter commuter lot. Okay. I thought that was great. The parking ride, that's a wonderful that's a wonderful way to call hey, it. What? What's the what's the point of the alphabet having an order? But we've talked about this and it doesn't need one. Yeah, we did talk about that. I we did we talk did. about that. Did we talk about the keyboard? What keyboard? On any computer. What is that the are you talking about that? Why stuff? is it different? Than the, the than alphabet. The alphabet? They just like... Well, I think the keyboard was invented before the alphabet. What? <laughs> <laughs> Wait. The keyboard, the keyboard makes no sense. There's more things to dive into on this, and I just can't think of them. My brain isn't working. About I feel like whoever made that was just doing it out of spite. They were like... I think I remember thinking that, bro. Like when I was in typing class. Did you have typing class? Yeah. Because we were alive when computers were invented. Right. Jeez. <laughs> they start with... They, what, they year got, was, what year was the computer invented? Jarrett? <laughs> the, 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 household, the household computer. Tell me both. Which one was like... <laughs> like, like, the big, like tell the me the... the or... Well, the OG, like the one where Bill Gates was alive for it. He was about 18, 16 at the time. And then, and then like the, the everyday household computer. You know? The one, the consumer edition. Yeah. Okay, I didn't know this. It says the first computer that resembled the modern machine. The first computer that resembled the modern machine was made between 1833 and 1871. That's a huge gap. That's pre electricity, bro. What are you talking about? They were like, (laughs) how is that a fact, brother? Like, it was made within this 40 year window? I mean, I know they had Google back then. On July 20th, 1969. Aliens invaded the moon. What? Think about it. Okay. That's when we went to the moon. (laughs) Ha ha! Oh, snap! That's a different planet, bro. That's not a planet. That's like aliens visiting us. That's not a planet. You know what I mean. That's like aliens visiting us. We went, we left our planet and visited something else. Aliens invaded the moon to the moon people. No, I never thought about that. We're aliens to other aliens. Exactly, bruh. 
No, bro. It it adds up. That's got me messed up. We are aliens to aliens. Do you think that they're like scared of us? Should they be scared of do you, us? Do you think Earth is like one of those? I'm scared of us. South American tribes that were like, don't tell them we're here. You know, like, you know how we got those South American tribes where we don't let them know that there's civilized yeah, life yeah, yeah. outside of them. No, that's what that's what Earth is. I'm trying you, to tell yeah, you. Yeah. Do you think Earth is like that for aliens? Hundred percent. They're just waiting for us to figure it out. No, I think yeah, I think that they know that we figured it. Yeah, that's like the whole premise of what I think happened. So that's what we're doing. We're just yeah, we're just being watched in our snow globe. Yeah, that's why aliens <laughs> never like <laughs> in our snow globe. That's why aliens never like step in, bro, because they're just like this is what this is. See what happens. This is watch them evolve and just take notes. They just abduct just one studying. every now and then just to yeah, do some studies. Don't freak them out, but like keep them <laughs> keep them on their toes. You know. Yeah, they just want to see the natural evolution. Like we get of, too like, comfortable, we stop thinking about them, aliens and stuff. They're like, all mm-hmm. right, send somebody in. <laughs> Let's go get another one, dog. I would. Would you? Gotta spark headlines. I think. I think I want to be abducted. Speaking of headlines, April Fool's Day is the only day where people question news headlines before they accept them. Yeah, that's. Yeah. What? Yeah. On all the other days, we're just like, oh, well. Yeah, absolutely. The news wouldn't lie to me. That's what I'm saying. You're just like, oh, Ben. The internet's Ben true. Franklin was a woman. <laughs> we're just like, oh. But on <laughs> April Fool's Day, you're like, wait a second. <laughs> yeah, I think you're tricking me. <laughs> uh, are you sure? <laughs> Bro, I always be. April Fool's Day, I don't like that day, man. You ever think maybe plants are farming us? <laughs> you were going. They're there's fe- way too much. Bro, they're feeding us oxygen. Right. And then eventually we turn into mulch and they eat us. Dog. <laughs> Our plants farming humans. Bro, what? That's bro. what I... <laughs> they feed us. We They feed us. We, we live. And then we and think... Then we die and they yeah. eat us, bro. And we think we're in control because they have like sacrifices. They're like, all right, bro, Jeff, you gotta, you have to be a houseplant. They just, we gotta Ooh. make them, we gotta make them feel like they're right. in power. It's all a big scheme. But Jeff, I promise you, dog... They're going to die. Plants are a pyramid scheme. 100%. <laughs> yes. Did you know like 95% of people that say, it's not a pyramid scheme, is selling your pyramid scheme? <laughs> yeah, 100%. <laughs> so plants. You yeah. ever Have you ever got tricked into a pyramid scheme meeting? No. I man. got tricked, bro. I don't think so. Someone was like, hey, we're having a meeting for other entrepreneurs to meet up. <laughs> And I was like, hey, I have a business. I'll show up to the meeting. Yeah, when you were like, you just started your business. Yeah. You were like all amped yeah. up about the co- community. Uh-huh. <laughs> and I was like, this sounds sick, bro. The Maryland small business community. I show up and they're like, all right, if you just give me $500, you can make a bazillion dollars. And you get a free car if you get 30,000 sales mm. to bring other people to meetings. Not a pyramid scheme because we have a product. That's a pyramid scheme. Yeah, you were in one. No, no, I didn't. You signed up for this. <laughs> no, bro. You were on the like, email subscriber list. No, it was not. Did you Did you remove yourself from it? I never I never wrote down no information. You changed your email address? So you technically never removed it, but you I still, still have a email. Hotmail account. Let's talk about that. <laughs> I don't want to talk <laughs> about that, bro. Jared, why do I still have a Hotmail account, bro? I have a business, and I have a Hotmail account that I give to my clients. Yeah, that's not, that's not right. Exactly. This guy wasn't even bro. alive during Hotmail. That was around bro. in the '90s, dog. And I have a Hotmail account. <laughs> bro, That's who crazy, still has dude. Hotmail account? I feel like I'm the most trustworthy guy because I have one. Like, like I'll stick around through the thick I don't, and thin. I don't know. You may be loyal. There's a lot of thin. You're loyal. No, I wouldn't say trustworthy, but you're loyal. Okay, I'll take it. Yeah, you're loyal to a T. Thanks. That man's still holding on Hotmail account. He ain't going nowhere. What What I look like? He's committed. I never going cold, bro. He may not check check in on you, but he'll always be there. <laughs> <laughs> but tell me why if I get up 10 minutes earlier than usual, yeah, I treat it like two hours and then I end up late. Facts. Like if I get up and I got five minutes to get there, I'm going to be there on time. Yeah. But if I get up 10 minutes early, bro, I got up at 7.15 this morning and I was 15 minutes late. 15 minutes late. I got up at 7.15 this morning and I was supposed to be here at 9.30. Right. I got here at 9.45. Yeah, what happened? I woke up too early. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, you just misjudged how much time you have. I ended up taking like, a shower. Wow, I have the whole day. 
<laughs> you know what I mean? I got the whole day out of me, and I'm taking a shower, and then like this, all of a sudden, you I get scrubbing out of behind your ears, bro. You're like, no, I'm like, oh, I got time. <laughs> I got time. I got really? plenty of time. And wow, then, that's dirty, bro. I get out, I get out that junk, and it's seven forty. <laughs> you start, you start putting your towel in the dryer then before I'm you late. clean yeah, yourself. Yeah, right. You're like, I wanted to just want it to be a little warmer mm-hmm. when I dry off. I got time. Baby. I plugged in a space heater in the bathroom. Why? Because I had time. <laughs> And then I'm late, bro. You oh, check the news. Goodness. You read a newspaper, dog. It was the last time you read a newspaper. I don't know, but I've I've w- I've woken up ten thousand times plus, and I'm still not used to it, bro. You know, ever <laughs> you know everyone everyone asks what they're like. What's the meaning of life? What's the meaning of life? It's always a question, right? What's the meaning of life? What if if someone figures it out, the whole universe resets. And that's why so nobody, nobody knows. knows again. Yeah, like what if you figure out the meaning of life and life just restarts? Or maybe that's just the people that get abducted. <laughs> like no, <laughs> hey, like, yo, you know you, what? you 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 get them out of here. Uh, you about to you about to mess up the whole plan, bro. You about to mess up the whole experiment. You think bugs are are born knowing they can climb up walls, or they one day they're just like. Yo, <laughs> yo, Simon, dog. Bro, Simon, peep, check it out. Peep this. Check, check peep this. <laughs> yo, <laughs> yo, you won't believe this. Look, ain't no hands, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you like, yo, can I do that? <laughs> yo, you can do it. I think you can do it. <laughs> Give it a shot, <laughs> bro. Wh- how do you think realistically, realistically, Spider Man find out he could climb walls? That's the thing. We watched the movie. We watched him learn. Yeah, you watched the movie. I feel like that's like a little like. Nah, they told it to you exactly. <laughs> I just feel like I'm not putting my hands on walls like that. You know, just to see if it sticks. Well, do you spend a lot of time in alleys? <laughs> just back here, You're rolling, rolling dice. And how many times have you tried to climb that wall? A lot. <laughs> Every day. I'm that's here. what I'm saying. All so, right. case in point, it's just alleys. Prove me right. I admit when I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Yeah, it's just how many? It's just how much time do you spend in the alleyways? <clears throat> well, yeah. You ran through all of yours already. <laughs> no, I have plenty. Okay, <laughs> bro. Mm. If you you know how you talk to your like you talk to yourself in your head, like you you have a voice in your head. Okay. And that voice is talking to you. So who are you, bro? If you the voice in your head is not you, who are you? Maybe it is me. No, but it's talking to you. It's me in my multiverse. You think it's you, but it's not you. Your voice is talking to you. Who are you? Who am I? I'm not me. What are you? Where are you? People always think you're the voice in your head. I'm plugged up. But the voice in your head talks it's to Morpheus, you. It's Morpheus, dog. I'm me, but I'm Morpheus. Into what? Like a Power Ranger? No, Transformer. <laughs> I'm like Optimus Prime, bro. I'm you Optimus Prime, but I'm Optimal Prime. I'm Optimistic <laughs> Prime. <laughs> Everything will be all right. <laughs> Everything will be good, dude. <laughs> Trust me. Trust me, dude. Dude, yeah, we got this, man. <laughs> we can do it. We can what do, do you, it. What are you? What are you? Optimistic Prime? <laughs> do you do, <laughs> do you think that you are like what am I? the voice in your head or something else? No, I'm me. I know, but what are you? That's what I'm trying to tell you. I'm me, and I'm, that's who I am. Are you your brain? Who are you? If you cut your leg off, are you your leg or the rest of your body? The rest of my body. Okay. Now cut all of your arms and legs off. Are you that pile or your body? I'm my body. Okay. You cut the body off. Are yeah. you the body or the head? I'm the head. You take your brain out. Are you the head or the brain? I'm the brain. You cut your brain into a million pieces, <laughs> you, bro. You're not, you just ran into it. You can, what you, are you, dog? You ran into the ground, bro. <laughs> I'm dead at that point. <laughs> I'm dead. That's what I am. I'm dead. <laughs> but you think you think if that's funny. You think one day people who think they're ugly will just realize that they're not their type? <laughs> <laughs> like you're not ugly, you're just not your type. <laughs> you just you know, like if yeah, like if you know. I thought I was ugly, man. I, just, I mean, I don't like men with beards. You everybody's type, Nick. Thanks, bro. 
You're a good looking guy, Nick. I mean, I got a little ginger in me. You know, my hair is brown, my eyebrows are black, and my beard is red. I've noticed, yeah. But what is it down there? It's like my. What? Does the carpet oh. match the drapes? I think it's black. What do you mean you think it's black? You. It's either black or dark brown. You I really to... can't tell, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell. I don't know. You might have to ask my friends. <laughs> <laughs> you, your stomach thinks all potatoes are uh, mashed. What? Uh, yeah. My stomach is mashed potatoes. Your stomach thinks all potatoes are mashed. <laughs> Whether they're baked, roasted, <laughs> sweet. <laughs> They all mashed to your stomach, bro. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. So you, you, your tongue and your stomach are just on different pages. You can either mash your potatoes before you eat them, or you can mash them while you eat them. Either way, it's going down. <laughs> either way, they're mashed potatoes. Unless you swallow them whole. Oh. Bro, you always got the loophole in the system, my guy. That's what I'm talking about, dude. Are you something else. Thank you. What you got for me, dude? If your car is going the speed of light... And you turn your headlights on. Will they turn on? Like, will you ever see the light on them? Mm-hmm. If you're driving at the speed of light. Faster than the speed of light. If you're driving faster than the speed of faster light. Faster than the speed of light. Will your headlights ever turn on? If you turn your headlights on, are they going to turn on? Are they just going to be back there somewhere? <laughs> my, brain, my brain is itching. Bro, you got me all stressed out. <laughs> we just found out the meaning of life. I get abducted. I get abducted. See you later, dude. See you later, bro. See you later. That's what you get. <laughs> Man, so smart. Or like the same thing with like the same thing with like if you're on a spaceship going the speed of light and you jump forward, you're going faster than the speed of light. Because right. you know, in a car or like on a train, if you're moving, you can still move around like normal, right? Mm -hmm. So if you go in the speed of light. In a spaceship, and you're walking forward. Yeah, you're, you're technically going faster than the bro, speed like of light. Like Indiana Jones was fighting on top of the train, but they're walking on top of the train. They're going faster than the train's That's going. That's what I'm saying, dude. Frick, bro. Like when James Bond was on that semi truck. You. These are very specific references, and I'm not really sure what's going on. Bro, I'm so serious. I don't think right I saw now. that movie. They literally move. And if you're running on there, are you running 110 miles an hour? If a, if the car is going. 100 miles an hour. Yeah. Are you running 110 miles an hour at that if, point? I mean, yeah, if you're running 10. If you're running on the car. Maybe it's an exponential curve and it's something similar, but... You got to do math? Yeah. Really not worth it at that point. Yeah, at that point, you just go on the same speed. But if cats had wings, they'd still just lay there. <laughs> bro, <laughs> if you had wings, you'd still just lay there. It'd make it, it may, bro, it'd make it much easier for them to catch birds. You would though. be the worst person to have wings, bro. I feel like you'd never use them. No, I would love to use them. I wouldn't even drive, bro. Like, except like November to, to, Mar to March. <laughs> I can just see you still driving your van. <laughs> if I could fly, you think I could get a heated seat? What? That's all I need. I'll fly everywhere with a heated seat. <laughs> like you still just sit down, but yeah. you fly around. Oh, I'm talking about sit on a car seat, strap up. Huh? <laughs> you get a seatbelt? I mean, if you want, when you flying, guy. like if you flying, you think it would be would be helpful to, to wear a seatbelt? Like I mean, if Superman yeah. would wear a seatbelt? I um, mean, yeah, protect him against crashes. I guess that's what I mean. Like when you like you fly, what is it? Like to escape. That's what I'm saying. To escape. Like what would you wear one? You don't need to. Would you wear a cape as a superhero? I'm not really sure. Probably not. Probably not. I feel like I would. Speaking of Superman, you know how like, <laughs> like you don't even recognize your coworkers outside of work because they're not in uniform. Yeah. Superman was on to something, bro. <laughs> yeah, I feel like people, <laughs> people, people always like, man, that's so stupid, bro. It's just him without glasses. Yeah, but bro, I don't recognize you without an apron, dog. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> and you got this, you got the same facial features. Exactly. Now you see what I'm talking about. You see, uh, in the in the new Superman movie, he disguises his face 
Because he just moves it real fast to make it look blurry to people. You serious? <laughs> like this. Wait, whole time? Is he just like vibrating? Yeah, so people can't see his face. But I don't believe it. They like found a loop. I mean, that's system. smart. Yeah. But I don't believe it. I could be wrong about that. But <laughs> if they haven't done that, they should do that in the next one. That's what I mean. It's genius. Yeah, in the, in the Henry Cavill one. The Wait. You would watch The Flash, Jared. You look like the type. Yeah, you look like a guy that would watch The Flash. What season you on? You're caught up, aren't you? He's caught up, isn't he? Yeah, he's watched them all. <laughs> he's one of those guys, you know how people like put on Scarface in their studios all day? He's just got The Flash on. The Flash on. He's on mute. Not he's even watching, in like... <laughs> yeah, just watching The Flash Not even mute, like in consecutive man. order, just like all mixed up. Yeah. It's like on shuffle. <laughs> got the flash on shuffle. Bro. When's the last time you think someone wore a scarf like not as a joke? Wow, well, right the forties. Have you ever wore a scarf or know someone that wears scarves? Guys, I've worn a scarf. Okay, I'm not a scarf wearer. I don't do it. But I'm you did it to make a point, right? You no, like, I was in I was in Europe. It's pretty normal over there. It's normal in Europe to wear scarves. It's normal over there to keep your neck warm. I just feel like there's better solutions to the problem. At that moment, I became a I became a scarf guy. You know. You know how they say you can scarf your food down. Huh. Does that have anything to do with the throat area of where that? So you, like you scarf your food, food goes in your throat. Every time a you... scarf warms your throat. What other? What other? What other? What else is scarfed? Jerry, you need a microphone. Yeah, we need Jared a microphone, dude, for the future. Think about it, Jared. Okay, you're going to get one. Um, Where's your banana? Co- I mean, your carrot costume. Why is it not on? It, bro. It's right there, bro. It's never on. It ain't been wearing Why, it, we, we paid money for that. You got to wear that, bro. It's a carrot costume. Because you're Jared the carrot. Yeah, you're Jared the carrot, bro. Think about it. Think about it, Jared. Think about it, Jared. And you know, every time you brush your teeth is the only time you're ever washing your skeleton. <laughs> I mean, if that's what you're into. Well, I'm just saying, bro. Like, why don't we ever clean the rest of our skeleton? Harder to get to? Yeah. I'm just not into it. Is it not into it? Yeah. Well, you know how they say you only wash your hair like once a week to be healthy. I mean, what's the optimal amount to wash your teeth? Is it really four minutes a day? Or they just say that no. because the dentist companies want your money. The only, the only reason to brush your teeth in the morning is for bad breath. They didn't get no dirtier than when you brushed them the night before. Yeah, bro. That don't make any sense. It's only for bad breath. You're supposed to brush them after you eat. The morning is just like a thing for bad breath. Yeah. Because you, you brush them right before you go to bed. That makes sense. You're eating all day and stuff. You, you can should, go to you bed. You brush them after lunch and then brush them... Before you go to bed. I knew this one girl, bro, that went to my high school, and she would carry a toothbrush in her purse. And she would, she would brush them after teeth. every meal. Great teeth. Yeah, really great teeth. Shout out. Shout out Amber. Shanice. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Shanice, bro. She always had the freshest teeth in the game, dog. She had the, the best teeth in eighth grade? What, what, what school were you in? High school? High school. Yeah. Beth, I'm talking K through 12. Best teeth? I'd have to think about it, but off the off the top, yeah, off great cuff. teeth, yeah, great teeth. I'm trying to think who got the best teeth I know. They're all fake, you know. Everybody I know who got nice teeth got dentures or something. Like drama from Rob and Deerdeck from Fancy Factory, Rob's cousin. Drama got nice teeth, but they fake. Who else got nice teeth? <clears throat> Oh, you see, nah, you ain't got no nice teeth. <laughs> you, do? you got average teeth. Bro. What's wrong with my teeth, bro? If you had to improve my teeth, what would you show them to me? Oh, uh, they kind of go inward. Oh, well, I'm doing that so you could. No, they they got like a they got like a backwards angle to them. No, they ain't got no back. Don't do that. I'm just saying they got like a reverse a ver- reverse. Where's effect. reverse, bro? Now you got me self conscious about Turn my. Turn to teeth. the side, face that way. No, I can't see you through the microphone. Give me a better angle. Yeah, okay. Now let me see the bottom. No, like the bottom. Yeah. Stop tilting your head straight up. Straight up and down. What are you doing? You're laying down. 
Yeah, your bottom teeth go backwards. No, I did that on purpose. You can't move your teeth, bro. Your, <laughs> bottom, your, bottom, your bottom teeth is angled back into your mouth. They're not angled back, bro. Yeah, you're like a my Jurassic dentist, Park. My dentist would... They're only crooked now because my wisdom teeth came in and messed the whole game let up, me bro. See your, let me see your teeth. The one joint, the one right joint in the front is a little funky. But. Well, yeah, I chipped it playing basketball. How much of it? Looked like about 90%. <laughs> yeah, bro. I'm a little. Sometimes when I do this, you can only see one tooth. Right. I see what you're trying to do. It's not working, but I know what you mean. I know what you mean, bro. I'm glad dogs can't read, so when they see no dogs allowed, they don't feel left out. <laughs> I just heard that. <laughs> it took a second. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Like, I don't want them to feel sad about it, but they don't have no idea. No, please, no dogs, please. They would feel sad. It'd be funny in parentheses if the sign just hit, like, rough, rough, rough. Bro, speaking of, dogs can understand human words, but we don't understand any barks. Dogs can't understand human words. Yes, they can. They understand tonality. Same difference. We don't know the difference between barks. It's the same difference. (laughs) Listen, listen. That's not the point I'm trying to make. So I'm going to make up a word. It's not the point I'm trying to make. We don't, we don't understand a difference in a dog's bark. Yeah, we do. That's not a bark. That's a one. Those are just two different dogs. Ruff. That's two different dogs. Ruff. Two different dogs. Three different dogs. I don't know how many dogs you're doing, but it's more than one. Ruff. You think dogs only bite our shoes? They chew shoes because it's the last thing we put on before we leave them home alone? (laughs) (laughs) I'll tell him, bro. He ain't going nowhere now, bro. I see he always puts these on before he (laughs) He leaves. If he can't put these on, he ain't going nowhere, bro. He ain't going nowhere. (laughs) Yo. Dang, bro. If you had a... If you had a... Nickel for every time I... If you had a master and you really liked him, would you chew his shoes? Speaking of masters, um, you think dogs name their masters? Oh, yeah, absolutely. But they're all the same word, bro. Like if they're talking to each other? like <laughs> Yo, Bark really made me mad today, bro. That's what I mean. What are we? Bark. I think we're all named Bark. How long has this been? <laughs> 33? That's all we have time for today, baby. Hey, plug the merch. Just right that shop. Drop the fall drop. Drop my AirPods. Dang. See ya. <laughs> that looks a bit. All right, wrap it up.